Hi boys and girls, welcome back to History Lane. Here we meet some of our history's heroes through using our creative hands. Today we meet Yocheved, the mother of three famous Nevi'im prophets, Miriam, Aaron, and Moshe, also known as Moses. After giving birth to Moshe, she hid him in the Nile River to save him from death. But as we'll talk about soon, Moshe ended up in his own home for his first two years of life. Which leads us to our activity, creating a game called Guide Baby Moshe Back Home. Here are the supplies we will need. Colored sand, we used yellow and orange, liquid glue, a black sharpie, a pen, magnets, scissors, two see-through nine inch plastic plates, four colors of craft foam sheets, we used brown, green, orange, and white, the printed baby and house template, the printed maze template, and a stapler. Let's begin. Create a diamond shaped design of liquid glue on one plastic plate by drawing straight lines of glue in one direction and then additional lines in the opposite direction. Include some short lines of glue up the edges of the plate as well. Yochaved was born in 2238 or 1523 BCE as Yaakov and his family entered Mitzrayim, Egypt. There is no clear source of when she passed away, but we know with certainty that she lived to leave Mitzrayim in 2448 or 1313 BCE. Sprinkle colored sand across the glue until no glue is left exposed. Shake off the excess sand, then allow the glue to dry. In fact, Yocheved and her cousin, Sarah Bas Usher, were the only people at the time to enter and exit Mitzrayim. If you make a calculation, Yocheved was at least 210 years old when she passed away. Place the second plastic plate on the maze template. Align the center of the plate with the center of the maze. Hold it in place, then use a black sharpie to trace the maze outline onto the plate, then set it aside. Yocheved was the daughter of Levi and married Amram, her nephew. She and her daughter Miriam, referred to as Shifra and Pua in the Torah, were the head midwives for the Jewish women in Mitzrayim. Next, carefully cut out the pieces of the house and baby template. During that time, Paro commanded every newborn baby boy to be killed. He gave special orders to the midwives to carry out the evil decree as the Jewish mothers gave birth, but at great danger to themselves, they disregarded his order. Instead, they actively kept the baby boys alive. When they saw a woman was about to have an unhealthy baby, they daven to Hashem, prayed to God, and said, You know we did not follow Paro. We only want to fulfill your will. We don't want the Jewish people to think we were trying to kill their babies. Please ensure that the baby be born healthy. Hashem listened and the babies were born healthy. Next, trace each piece of the template onto different colors of foam. In the merit of their self-sacrifice, the Kohanim and Leviim, priests and Levites, came from Yocheved and David HaMelech, King David, came from Miriam. Just as Yocheved chose to listen only to Hashem, we can do the same. If someone tells us to act in a way that is against the Torah, we can disregard it. For example, if you are pressured into eating something that isn't your standard of kosher, you can hold strong and follow what Hashem wants. What is an example of one of your Torah standards that you would hold on to even in a difficult time? Next, carefully cut out the foam pieces of the house and baby. The story continues, when Yocheved was 130 years old, she gave birth to Moshe, her youngest child. She hid him in a basket in the Nile River to save him from Paro's decree. That day, Paro's daughter came down to the river. Spotting the basket, she realized it must be a Jewish child. She took pity on baby Moshe and drew him out of the water. Next, glue the foam house and the parts of the baby onto another piece of foam as backing to provide more sturdiness. Batya attempted to feed baby Moshe but without success. Miriam, who had been watching Moshe from afar, stepped forward and offered to bring a nursemaid from whom the baby would nurse. She ran home and came back with her mother Yocheved, who successfully fed the baby. Paro's daughter instructed her to take the baby home where she should take good care of him. She assured Yocheved that she would be paid for her trouble. Cut out the house but leave a border of backing around it. Do the same for the baby. You can use a pen to add details to the house and baby if you'd like. Hashem arranged that Moshe be returned to Yocheved the very same day she placed him in the river. She brought him home and took care of him until he was two years old, at which point she brought him back to Batya. Next, glue the house to the edge of the plate at the end point of the maze, which is marked by the opening on its outermost layer. After that, use liquid glue to attach baby Moshe to the flat side of one of the magnets, then allow it to fully dry. Lay the maze template on top of the sand plate, then attach them securely with a stapler. To play the game and to guide baby Moshe all the way home through the maze, connect the second magnet to Moshe from below the plates. Here's the science behind this. 
Magnets are surrounded by an invisible force called a magnetic field that can either push away or pull in. Every magnet has two ends called the North Pole and the South Pole. Opposite poles, north and south, are pulled toward each other and stick together. The magnetic force is so strong that even if something thin is between two magnets like a plate or sand, they still stick together. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope to see you back again next week.